A group of people from different social classes find themselves on a military ship for some reason. Suddenly, the ship lifts off into the clouds and strange things begin to happen. Takashi and Eva embark on a cruise aboard the former military liner and immediately notice a well-known politician and his son on deck. The father asks the son where he would like to work, as he can arrange for him to work anywhere. However, the son declares that he intends to achieve everything in life on his own. A group of teenagers nearby is being chased off the deck by a gang. The gang leader bows to the politician, assuring him of his full support, and offers to escort him to his cabin. The son doesn't like this. On the way, one of the gang members drinks a cup into which a silent old man has collected bits of dirt and dust from the deck crevices. Everyone passes by except the politician's son who picks up the cup. The old man understandingly smiles and nods to him. Meanwhile, three women are touching up their makeup just as the politician approaches. The gangster pushes them aside and with a bow opens the cabin door for the pair. But the women do not leave, and through a small window, they view the luxury of the cabin, becoming angry that the man is living in such lavish conditions. He should set an example for others instead of standing out with his position, as they are all on the same ship. Takashi speaks up for the women, insisting on fairness for all, however the gang quickly silences him. Meanwhile, the politician calms his son, and the son notices that his father actually likes the situation. At this point, the ship's captain asks everyone to follow his instructions and promises a pleasant trip. The vessel sets off into the open sea. Eva suggests that her husband should take a photo of himself with a cannon in the background, but he is a pacifist and doesn't want to be near any weapons. Then Eva notices the old man who is sweeping the deck again and wonders why he's doing it, but he just smiles in response. It's time for lunch. The politician and his entourage are sitting at the captain's table, enjoying delicious food and wine, while the other passengers have to settle for a complex meal in plastic packaging. Seeing this, the people begin to protest against such injustice. Takashi approaches the politician's table and expresses his grievances, saying that by turning a blind eye to such injustice, people are destroying their own world. Unexpectedly, the politician apologizes and promises that starting from tomorrow, everything will be the same for everyone. The satisfied people calm down, and the politician's son asks the gangster not to ruin his father's image anymore. Meanwhile, the gang leader starts showing interest in Eva, which naturally doesn't sit well with her husband. But for now, it only ends with threats. At night, Eva sees the old man sneaking into the galley and taking some vegetables and a few eggs. She doesn't understand his actions, so she follows him and sees him setting up an incubator for the eggs and planting the vegetables in cups filled with soil. At this time, other passengers are enjoying their entertainment, playing gambling games, and the ladies are pleasing the men. Drunken teenagers notice Eva and start chasing her, while a young passenger who lost money in a cup and ball game demands his money back, which leads to a fight. And at that time, the captain warns the crew to be careful, as he doesn't like the look of the gang of bandits. The meeting is interrupted by women of easy virtue who want to entertain the crew. The captain gives in and allows the crew to rest. Meanwhile, a bandit notices the politician smoking on deck, watching Eva walking below. He instigates the senator, as his word is law on the ship, and the girl clearly won't mind spending time with him. The politician agrees, and the bandit goes to the couple, while his son watches his father's actions anxiously. But the father calms the boy down and goes to his cabin. At that time, Eva and Takashi are spending time in their cabin, unaware that the old man is watching them through the porthole. But then the teenagers burst into the cabin and throw Takashi into the corridor, where the bandit finds him. The man fights back, but the bandit catches up to Takashi and stabs him. Meanwhile, the politician's son hears Eva's screams and runs to her cabin. Taking advantage of his intervention, she escapes from the teenagers. But on the deck, the bandit catches her. The old man silently watches what he does to the girl and then brings the unconscious Eva to the politician's cabin. Meanwhile, the politician's son finds his father with the girl's body, and the man leaves the cabin, smirking understandingly, leaving his son alone with Eva. At first, the boy looks at the girl in horror, protecting her, but then he strokes her leg and, under the old man's gaze, lies down next to her. Later, Eva comes to and remembers Takashi. She goes to look for her husband, while the politician, his son, and the bandit watch her, discussing the possibility of the girl becoming a mother. They wonder which one of them will become the father. At that time, Eva finds her husband's shoe on the deck and realizes that he is gone. She tries to climb onto the rail and throw herself into the sea, but the old man manages to grab her and, pressing a certain point, knocks her unconscious. Morning comes, Eva wakes up on the deck and suddenly sees that the ship is hovering in the sky, surrounded by clouds. The politician's son joins her, and later the whole ship looks down in confusion. How could this happen? 
there is only clouds below the ship, no water or land, and above everyone on the bridge stands the old man, silently watching the busy people. The captain declares a state of emergency, and Eva goes to the old man's cabin and sees newly hatched chicks. She does not understand why the old man did not let her die, and thinks that he knows where they are. Meanwhile, the politician goes to the captain, but he himself is in such a situation for the first time. Then the politician asks about the amount of remaining food, and learning that there is only six days worth left, he takes his gang with him. The captain understands his intentions, and the crew hurries after them, but the remaining passengers are also trying to break into the galley. The politician declares himself responsible for the food, but the captain is against it, it is his ship. A dispute begins between the people, which is resolved by the appearance of a pistol in the hands of the bandit. Everything will be as the politician says. The people reluctantly disperse to their cabins, while the politician orders to have the portions of rice and orders meat for himself. The captain tries to protest, but the pistol convinces him otherwise. The sailors go to the cabin to discuss their situation, and the captain orders a search of the ship for any weapons. Meanwhile, the passengers receive half portions of rice, go to the politician's cabin and see a luxurious lunch on his table. The politician reminds them of his merits to the country and declares a state of war. The outrage is immediately suppressed by the sight of weapons in the hands of the bandits. The captain still tries to protest, but the politician threatens him with cannibalism if he dares to argue with him. Meanwhile, Eva watches as the old man feeds his chicks and continues to plant vegetables. She realizes that they can eat it, but not anytime soon, and they simply do not have enough land. Meanwhile, the crew finds a crate of grenades. Later, during lunch, the politician's son struggles with the question, even if they eat well now, they will still die of hunger later. But the politician reminds him of their status. Eva tries to shame the politician when she enters, but the bandit tells her not to interfere. Later, she helps the old man with his garden when the politician's son arrives. He also wonders why the old man is doing this. After all, they won't be able to eat these vegetables anyway. And Eva is concerned about another question. Was the guy with her while she was out? He apologizes but receives a slap. And then Eva watches as the old man separates human waste and uses it as fertilizer. She is puzzled. Does he also plant fruits? But this is madness. It will take years before the trees start bearing fruit. Meanwhile, some passengers catch the bandits in the galley, beat them and take some of the food, forcing the gangsters to take countermeasures. The politician takes the bandit aside and offers him to find more weapons before they start attacking them, and he hands over his gun to him. The crew of sailors hears all this and decides to attack first. The bandits arm themselves with anything they can find, and the passengers do not dare to attack the politician who is sitting in plain sight eating fried meat. Mockingly, he throws a piece of chicken leg onto the deck and watches as the people fight over it. Eva expresses her outrage, and one of the bandits grabs her, but the politician's son comes to her defense until his father stops the argument. Meanwhile, one of the bandits succumbs to temptation and sells some food to one of the passengers, which the teenagers notice. The head bandit comes to investigate the commotion and beats the offender before apologizing to the politician for not watching his subordinates. The politician then strikes the bandit in front of everyone, which causes outrage among the villains who feel that they are protecting him from the crowd. However, the politician takes out a gun, saying that they must set an example for others and cannot sell food. The politician leaves and the bandits express their bewilderment to the leader. They are the strongest ones here, but they have to endure beatings from the politician. Later, the politician treats the bandit to alcohol and promises to show him respect. Meanwhile, the politician's son goes to Eva. He does not understand why his father started all this. Even if it works out, it won't be enough for everyone. But Eva objects, it's food for one person. Suddenly, Eva feels nauseous. The old man listens to her stomach, and the woman becomes horrified. She is pregnant. Eva grabs a knife, intending to kill herself, but the old man restrains her. The woman is inconsolable. This is the devil's seed. She does not want to carry the child. The old man hands her a cup with a sprout. Meanwhile, the politician's son sees how the bandits entertain themselves with women, and the leader advises him to take everything from life because they will all die soon anyway. And Eva confesses to the old man that she cannot harm the child, as it could be Takashi's. The old man performs a certain ritual decorating her with water drops, while the politician's son watches. Meanwhile, the passengers are informed that food will be distributed every three days. They head to the politician's cabin while his son takes food to Eva. She refuses to eat, but the old man insists, wanting her to overcome her hatred. The politician tries to persuade the people to endure once again, but they no longer want to listen to him. So he shoots the most persistent one. The old man takes the dead body away. 
The captain realizes that they can't wait any longer and orders to bring the grenades. Eva sees the old man dissecting the body, burning the bones and crushing them, obtaining a substrate where he plants grown plants. At that moment the captain bursts into the politician's cabin where he has just gathered all the bandits and throws a grenade inside. But the politician reacts quickly and throws it into a metal box. When the captain goes to investigate he finds himself at the politician's gunpoint. The captain has to lead the bandits to the box with the grenades. The politician counts the remaining food and realizes that if they feed everyone it will only last for three days, but if only his team it will last for a month. His son understands his thoughts and asks him to reconsider, but he orders to lure everyone into the food block and remove the food from there. Eva confesses to the politician's son that she is pregnant and this child is their future. Meanwhile the passengers are invited to the food warehouse and people rush there. But the bandits close the doors, leaving the people cut off from the deck. The politician throws a grenade inside, despite his son's pleas, and then orders everyone to be destroyed, and the bandits rush to carry out his order. The politician himself does not just stand by and watch, which causes horror to his son and anger to the bandit. Why is he wasting bullets? Meanwhile, the captain finds the remains of food and pours fuel on them, and then the politician and the bandit catch him. The politician shoots, and the captain falls and drops the lighter. The food burns. The old man surveys the piles of the dead and reaches for his hatchet. He needs soil. And then he hands a small axe to Eva. The woman, overcoming her fear, takes it. Later, they plant sprouts, and the old man plants seeds in the bodies of the dead. Realizing that there is no food left, the politician goes to his son and offers the guy to eat him. If the son survives, then the father will also live. The son is horrified and runs away to Eva, but the bandit finds the couple. The politician shoots first and hits him in the hand. He runs out of bullets and the bandit takes the weapon. The bandit, who still has bullets, loads the gun and shoots the politician, and then goes in pursuit of the couple. Meanwhile, the old man plants more seeds in the politician's body. The bandit finds Eva, and she tells him about the child. And while he's distracted by the politician's son, the woman snatches his gun and shoots the villain. Only three people remain on the ship, but there is no food at all. And then the old man gives the couple meat, which they eat. And then they talk about the child's future. Later, the young man begins to go insane from hunger. He rushes to the old man's cabin, and the old man, opening the door, hands him a piece of meat. Eva realizes that he has just given them a piece of himself, and she understands now why the old man was protecting her and her child. Time does not stop, even if everyone dies. Later, the couple sees his footprints on the deck, and the young man wonders if he was God. Time passes, and hunger returns. The young man suggests eating the chicken, but Eva refuses to do so until she lays eggs. She unlocks herself inside the cabin with a garden, and the politician's son breaks in and tries to take the chicken. Eva hits him with an axe. Later, she sits alone on the deck and wonders who this child is and why it came. Then she goes to the garden and finds the first eggs. But after eating them, she falls to the ground with a scream as labor pains begin. Eva gives birth to a healthy baby, whom she raises with love and tenderness. The ship turns into a flourishing garden, and there is now enough food for the small family. But one day Eva catches a son with a gun in his hand. Seventeen years pass. One day after lunch, the adult son, having shot a chicken running around, suddenly decides to court his mother like a man would court a woman. The woman runs into the forest, but the young man pursues her. In the next scene, we see a green island above the surface of the planet, visible even from space. It's a very strange and even scary movie in which the idea of cyclicity is very clearly expressed. Sooner or later something new grows in the place of what is destroyed, but only to then turn into nothingness again and to grow anew with something new.